you want to know how i prepare this delicious abacha you want to know how i prepare this mouth-watering local dish african salad guys join me in making this abacha you're going to like it you're going to love it this is another different style another different thing all together with abaka omaya you're going to see everything inside this abacha so guys let's get started please don't forget to subscribe when you are watching this delicious meal let's get started hi guys welcome to cook with ijama is your babe ij today i want to make this special abacha for you in fact you're going to like it this abacha is amazing it has a different style i've prepared everything finished it's just to mix it okay just stay tuned and let's get started here i have the grinded crayfish So here I have fried crayfish. So before you have this fried crayfish, just pour oil into the pot, leave it for two minutes, and add this crayfish into it. Put small salt and fry it about three minutes. Okay, then bring it out. Here I have chopped onions. fish stock so here is abaca african oil bean seed okay here is ukaze they call it genetum africanum that's the botanical name so here is utaze they call it gagroname that's the botanical name um, my pepper habanero so I have a huru calabash nutmeg here is potash water okay I'm going to add it I have salt maggi cube mackerel fish and dry fish mangala homemade i did it by myself so here is ogiri oil seed bean the fermented one and we have here the abacha the main character i have this oil guinea fresh so all these ingredients that i'm going to use in making this abacha okay so stay tuned and watch the magic food so first of all i'm going to pour the oil into the pot then add a little bit of onions with this crayfish then fry it about three minutes and bring it out so secondly this ehuru i'm going to grind it because i'm going to add it in this abacha as well come to this ehuru if you want to have the flavor very well make sure you roast it okay roast it about three minutes okay the flavor will come out very well so this one I roasted it already so I'm going to grind it so this is the ehuru I have grinded it already so here I have the oil crayfish and onions okay like I told you add oil add onions and crayfish all together okay leave it about three to four minutes 
then bring it down. The first thing I'm going to add is the pepper, okay? I'm going to add small bits of it because this pepper is so harsh. Then after the pepper, I'm going to add the onions. The next one is the egg roll. Okay. So the next one I'm going to add is one cube of maggi. So I'm going to make sure that the maggi blended with the oil. I'm going to add the ogiri. Mix everything together. So after the ogiri, I'll add the potash water. Okay. So you can see the potash water has changed the oil in another form okay we call it ungo okay so now one guava so guava cha so i make sure that everything blended together So after turning it, I'm going to add the obaka. Turn, turn together, turn, turn. Wow, this abacha is going to be delicious. So guys, the next thing I'm going to add is the okaze. This okaze, I've already cooked it about 10 minutes. So try to cook your okaze before adding it into your abacha. So after the obaka, I'm going to add this okaze, okay? Yeah. This is going to make it to be delicious, more, more delicious. Just blend everything together. You see? So after mixing the ubaka, I'm going to add the fried crayfish. Turn everything together. Then it is now for me to add the abacha. Okay. Add it small. Yeah. Make sure you added everything. Turn it. Okay. Then I stir step step after stirring everything i'm going to add more things then put it on the burner and warm it about five minutes before putting it down the next one i'm going to add is the fish stock then turn together as well so after that you add your salt, add and test, so it will not be too much salt, okay? So 
so your thoughts is going to be the last one i'm going to add after one minute okay so i warm the abacha about five minutes then you can see how it looks like now done before the oil has you know take some shapes inside the abacha let's see so here is my roasted fish i'm going to add it into this abacha i'll remove all the bones inside it so let's start let's see i've added now i'm going to add this otazi you know i don't add everything just add small then turn it gradually okay because of the fish so that the fish will not break okay i'll we'll just turn the fish and the abacha together so this one is the dry fish the mangala okay i'm going to add it and with this so when you are eating the abacha and taking it with some red wine oh my god <laughs> you can never remember any stress again so this is how i prepared this local dish african salad abacha okay So guys, I finished making my delicious abacha. You can see how beautiful it looks. The way it looks is the way it tastes in the mouth. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe when you are watching it, okay? Bye. See you on my next video.